Hello everybody, Dinky Doo, it's just me, a Scotty McClure, a quick afternoon pop-up. Very important question for you. Should she be allowed to ask he? Right? I've just realized there's a huge untapped marriage market out there, right? And that's because we're not saying that the ladies should have carte blanche to ask the guys anytime. So what do you think about that? So should she be allowed to ask he? That's what we're doing. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome, of course, it's me, Scotty McClue, with a quick afternoon pop-up live on Facebook, one of the world's great broadcast platforms, just for you, saying dinky-doo. And uh, the question I'm asking this afternoon, should she be allowed to ask he? Because why don't we have women coming up and saying, <clears throat> listen, would you like to marry me because I've got stacks and stacks of money, I've got a good future, I've got a good job, I've got my own house. Why don't you come and live with me and maybe do a few dishes, run round with the hoover, do a wee bit of high dusting, all that sort of stuff, and I will bring home the bacon. So there you are. So tell me what you think about that. Should she be allowed to ask he? Good afternoon, Scotty, says Steve McFarlane. Hello, Steve. Hello, Scotty, says Ron Stewart. Afternoon, Scotty, again, says Steve Wright. Brilliant. Robert Rogerson watching. Lynn Findlayson, Colin Edwards. Sounds perfect. Alan Beard. All right, Scotty, how's it going, big boy? I used to listen to your show on Scott FM when you're on uh, my holidays in the HMP. <laughs> There we are, a guest of Her Majesty the Queen at the big house. Kev McNulty's watching. Eh, only of the rich, says Colin. Yes, I see where you're coming. Hi again, says Gerald Mackay Mackay. So there you are. So Scotty McClue, just for you, quick afternoon pop-up. Won't be here long, but do need to get some detail off you. Do you think it'd be all right for women to start asking guys to marry them, going down in one knee. There's Albert, Albert PT. Hello, Albert. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you very much for the finest fish and chips in Glasgow. Uh, so there we are. Louise Gamble's watching Dinky do, Louise. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, that is excellent stuff. Ron has shared it. Share, share. Everybody share the video as quickly as you possibly can. Scotty McClue, quick pop up just for you. And um, it's Wednesday afternoon. Nothing. Gets past me, I say. You're a top man, Scotty, says Kenny. Dinky do, so are you, Kenny. Only in a leap year, I think, says Steve. No, 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 Steve, we're talking about you're doing it all the time. So the women could come along and say, you know, would you like to marry me? I've got a good job. And uh, you can come and just, you know, sit and take off me for a while. Because it would be nice to have a man. <clears throat> Yes, bend the knee, women, says Yusef, Yusefi. Excellent, so there we go. It's all about equality these days, says Lenny. Well, that's what I'm saying, Lenny. This is me being an equalitist. This is me being equal. I'm saying, right, if we've got equal rights, get the girls, if they've got a few quid, they've got a good job, get down on one knee and say to the guys, would you marry me? That sort of thing. There we are. That's what we're talking about. And uh, get the old band of gold on the guy's ring. That's what I'm saying. Get the old ring on the finger. Excellent. Women should propose to me, says Kenny. Yes. I shared. I shared to everyone. Let's make Scotty more famous than he already is. Fantastic. Oh, yes. We're famous enough. That's, that's wonderful. You can't beat it. James Duffy. Dinky do to you. Only to make him stop asking me every day. Louise. Do you get asked every day? You're a lucky, lucky lady. There we are. You must be an absolute delight. James Lafferty's watching. Dinky do, James. Lovely to have you with us now. I know it's the middle of the afternoon, and a lot of you won't be allowed to watch. Your bosses will be giving it. You can't watch Scotty McClure during your work. So there we go. Uh, John Carlin, Dinky do. Good afternoon, Mr. McClure, says James. And I did buy him a ring, says Louise. Uh, Ivor Timpson's watching. Hello, Ivor. I think women should propose uh, on a day, um, a day-to-day -day basis. Scotty, how's your wee fox? My wee fox, about, I've, I've given you three movies, I think it is now, and you'll get them up on YouTube if you haven't got them. Just home from work, says James. Excellent, James. Good stuff. Glad to know somebody's there after putting in a good shift. That's what we want. Fantastic stuff. As I say, I've only got a quick pop-up. I barely get time to broadcast these days, guys. I am so maxed. 
But um, it's wonderful. I wouldn't have it any other way. Be a lot of talk about me going to America to broadcast. Uh, so that might be the next step. Uh, so there you go. Keep your eyes on what's happening. Watch this space, as they say. Thank you to all of you that uh, subscribed on YouTube. Scotty McClure YouTube channel. Subscribe there. There's also a PayPal. PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. If you fancy sticking in a pound or two to help towards the broadcasts, that would be fantastic. Or GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. Or you can get on to the Scotty McClure website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. Over, well over 10 million people have been on there. I'm trucking. No boss for me. Dinky deuces, Ron. You keep on trucking, my boy. Stay on longer. We always miss you when you go, says Kenny. I know. I miss you guys as well. It's great fun. This is the way broadcasting's going, guys. If you look at your mainstream television and radio, they could not give two about you they just want the advertisers money and that's that so there you are and they're prepared to do very little for it of course play you a few songs in rotation that you would get on your uh, on your iPlayer and they give you long 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 commercial breaks about very very depressing subjects so there you go uh, uh, Angel Nikita's watching Dinky Doo Angel Nikita and Sherry B is watching Lovely, lovely to have you all with us in the afternoon. Scotty McClue just popping up to say dinky do to all of you. I'm managing not too bad without my glasses. I can put my glasses on if I'm looking down at the bottom of the screen. I've got the old very focals there and I can see what is what. Big Dan from Kilmarnock watching, says Ron. Dinky do to Big Dan. Dan, Dan, a real top man. Uh, we have got you. Don't go, says Kenny. Uh, will you keep this up? Uh, if you end up in America, says James. Yes, I mean, I think if I end up in America, the way American radio is, they'll use all of social media. So you'll probably be able to see me broadcasting live in New York City or in Kansas or in San Diego, California, all that stuff. Fantastic stuff. So there you go. But uh, that's all got to be talked about. So America may well be the next step for the big guy because we've done most of the stations here and the radio here is virtually um, all but shut down in terms of recruitment of uh, top personalities. They don't go in for that now, really. Uh, even if you look at the BBC stuff, uh, they're just using it mainly folk from uh, from roundabout, handy folk that can pop in and what have you. Um, Alcatraz, says James. Yes, I'm the bird man. And you're off to America. Wow, says Lee Fern. I know it's a big, big country, and they've certainly got plenty of room for, uh, for top broadcasters, they're very, very keen and very enthusiastic. What they say is, can you hit the ground running? I said, oh, I think we can manage that for you. California will fall into the Pacific Ocean, Scotty. Come to New York and hire me, says Robert Hutton. Absolutely, New York City, that's where ideally we'd like to be, of course. America won't know what's hit them, says Lee. Well, we'll be giving it the full bit, Lee. You know what I mean, the full Scotty McClue. The one that gets the programmers in this country go, oh, what if he said something? So there we go. <laughs> Marvellous stuff. That's what we want. I think this country's got too much of the creative side of it. Too many um, people worried about their jobs and stuff like that. Well, we'd better not take a risk. Just play a recorded song because we know about it. Don't put any personalities on. Don't put on anybody that might be original or funny or clever. We, no, 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 no. Just play, play the song. Play the song. Uh -huh. It's recorded. Your good Scottish accent will be appreciated in the States, says James Lafferty. Um, <laughs> fantastic. It won't be long until all these platforms are closed as well. We're under the illusion of free speech. You should take over in North Korea. Begin. So there you are. Do you think they'd like me in North Korea? We had a gentleman on Periscope this afternoon from North Korea. So there you go. That's amazing that. I'm surprised they're allowed past the post. But he was on from North Korea over on the Periscope broadcast this afternoon. They are amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Right, guys, you need to do me a massive favor. You're doing a wonderful job, but you need to keep sharing and sharing and sharing. Don't get fed up when you see Scotty McClure going, share, share, share. Go, oh, for goodness sake. Get a bye, Scotty. We know who you are. You see, yes, we know all that, but there's other people need to be told. So it's not just all about you. 
Uh, I hope you'll still carry on with your live internet broadcasts. Mind you, it'd be a lot of work for you. Lee, when has Scotty McClure ever been afraid of a lot of work? There you are. Used to do seven day weeks. One day I actually did a 25 hour day. Uh, could see you being the commander in chief, says James Duffy. Yes, absolutely. President of the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Americans, I'm saying hi and introducing me, Scotty McClue, to all of you. Dinky do. So there we are, sitting in the Oval Office there. A uh, good point, says Lee. Yes, the most famous man on the planet, that's you, Scotty. I'll tell you that for nothing, Dinky do. Absolutely right. Now, guys, I'm going to have to dash. If all of you can share, share, share. Share, 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 share. Time for the song. Are you ready? Sing it with me. The radio is very right of center. You'd love it. And yes, the Yanks love the Scottish accents, as Robert. So there we are. They would probably eat you in North Korea with chips. If George Bush can be president, says James. Well, there you go. There's a thought. How about that? An intelligent president of the United States of America. Just what we want. I loved Ronnie Regan. I thought Ronnie was great. Ronnie was great for giving us a line. And I remember poor Nancy. Her chair overbalanced and she fell off the platform. And once Ronnie had turned round and checked that she was okay, he went, Honey, I told you only to do it if I didn't get a laugh. So there we are. Wonderful. Ever the showman, I say. Push the big red button uh, but for the Scotty song instead of the nukes. Right, here we go. Shall we push the button? Button pushed and goodbye everybody. Goodbye. Take care everybody as you go. Goodbye everybody of wheat or zane or of what and a cheery o. Love you lots guys. Scotty McClure has left the building. Dinky-doo.